12 Theories Why We Haven't Met Alien Welcome to Trick and Mickey. Please subscribe, share, and like. We're going to discuss these 12 theories in detail. We're going to analyze scientifically, objectively, and factually why there doesn't seem to be any alien life forms walking the earth, introducing themselves to the human race and saying, we're here and we're here to stay and to help you. People think that alien life forms are going to come to this planet and just reveal themselves. And people have a right to say, well, why not? Well, throughout human history, human beings have been waiting for some type of deliverance, whether it's angel from heaven or aliens from outer space. What do you think would happen to the human race if we saw flying saucers through the air, alien aircraft? I think the human race would have an incredible hard to understand moment where they would just literally lose their ability to speak. Well, the first thing is the prime directive number 12. This is the, the beginning of all these theories. The prime directive basically states that alien life forms, if they're there, they're aware of us and they don't want to interfere so that our culture will develop according to its destiny, that we are in charge of this planet and they they just don't want to interfere. What would happen if we developed the means to travel in one generation backwards and forwards to other solar system within our Milky Way galaxy? What would we find? What will we do? How will we prepare for extraterrestrial? 11. What is intelligent alien life form? Well, what is the definition of intelligence? An ability to be aware of yourself. Here on Earth, dolphins are aware of themselves. Octopuses, squids are aware of themselves. Every life forms that we have on this Earth, to some degree, has an aware, awareness of itself, including our apes and other primates. When we go to other worlds, will we be able to recognize alien life forms with their level of intelligence? Chances are, there's teeming life forms all over the solar system, the Milky Way galaxy, but their intelligence is somewhat limited. Number two, we have nothing in common with them. What happens if we meet life forms that are gaseous or of a different level of existence, way above us? Will we be able to recognize each other? Will we be able in the same spot be able to look at each other and understand each other? Probably not. Number nine, we are special because we have a world where life developed. This theory deals with the fact that everything on this earth happened, either by divine God intervention or we were just lucky. Everything just happened the right way. The right size world, the right uh, 23 and a half degree angle our earth happens to be from the right uh, size to the right kind of destiny, uh, destiny uh, and material. This earth has it all just right. That's how life developed on this earth. Everything is perfect. Number eight, we are not special because alien life is everywhere. Yes, science has determined already that there are many planets similar to the Earth in our Milky Way system we have with our micro uh, telescope excuse me we have been able to spot them we have been able to find out how hot they are what distant they are from the Sun we have been left behind the aliens arrived into existence before us so they decided, after they used up their part of the solar system, to move to other places of their solar system where it's greener pastures. They just picked up and left. And we are more isolated. We are literally left behind in our corner of the Milky Way solar, solar system. Number six, the vast isolation of outer space. This theory deals with the fact that all the galaxies are very far from each other. There's a lot of empty space between galax galaxy, between the Milky Way and the Andromeda system. The fact that this space is empty and cannot be traversed in one single lifespan just can give you 
a feeling of isolation. The planetarium hypothesis or the matrix is reality. This is theory number five. It basically means what if we believe that we're in a, re a reality but we're really in a matrix that intelligent life forms manipulated matter and energy and put us in a place where we develop by their will that we're just living in a matrix that everything around us is nothing but our supposed interpretation of reality that everything has been designed for us that we developed inside of a invented universe that everything we see around us is a matrix is all make-believe the 99% rule number four theory what does this mean well 99% of all life that has ever been born on earth has gone extinct this rule applies to everything in the in the universe everything in the universe to one degree or another is mortal is born it ages it dies physically and mentally everything is born to die we cannot expect this rule to be excluded no matter what part of the solar system the galaxy the universe you have to be we even see stars being born aging and dying so therefore death is everywhere everything is meant to eventually go extinct number three aliens are watching from a distance what are they seeing well if aliens are watching for from 65 million light years away they're seeing our earth as it was during the dinosaur period the Cret Cretaceous period so what they are obviously are deducing is well there's no intelligent life form here it's all dinosaur why bother coming here Stephen Hawking made a remark I believe alien life is quite common in the universe other intelligent life is less so some say it has yet to appear on planet earth he's very witty and but I intend to agree with him intelligent life is much harder to come into existence it requires all the right element to go number two the filter theory and the point of no return every civilization in order to survive has to be warlike in order to be competitive in its environment we in the human race have come very close to this point of no return we have developed the means of wiping out human civilization on this planet what has happened in other planet systems have they developed weapons beyond our imagination where they have succeeded in exterminating th their life on their planet is this the destiny of all intelligent life form according to this theory that once it develops to a certain point it just presses a button and destroys itself self-destruction is the future theory number one they are waiting for us to contact them what if aliens are very patiently waiting for us to mature to a certain level so that they can contact us or better yet we contact them once we go out into outer space we must be prepared for anything we find there we have to be mature enough not to attack what we don't understand we need to find peace within ourselves and harmony we have to be a united planet in order to achieve our destiny to explore the vast reaches of our Milky Way system thank you for listening and watching this is Tricky Mickey please subscribe share and like until next time thank you for watching and listening bye